Hey guys, Michael McGee here. We got two geese that were banded. And so the reason they banned them is so they know where they were harvested. And so that I know where they were banded. So we kind of know where they were at, through all this time. And one of these geese seemed to be quite a bit older than the other as far as the ability to me to pluck the feathers off was very hard. And the bird was quite a bit bigger. And that bird actually has a phone number on here to call. And the other one, which I figured was a younger bird, only has a um, only has an email address, a www dot address, www.reportband.gov. And so the old one has call 1-800-327-BAND and a website under it. So we're gonna try calling first and see if they still do the telephone thing. And if not, then we'll know. Now, as you can see, I'm still kind of back in the dark ages myself here with this phone with a cord on it. But let's try this out. 1-800-327-BAND. Let's see what happens here. It says for English press one, let's try this out. Come here, let's listen. So, there we have it. They don't do the phone anymore. So we're gonna have to just get on the old website and report these things and see, and see if they will send us the information on these birds. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the website and see if I can't do that right now. So as you see, we found that one of the birds was quite a bit older than the other. The older one was from Indiana, and the younger one was from Kentucky. And the Kentucky one, I kind of feel like that's probably a local bird. The one from Indiana, I don't know. I really don't know, because they were flying in the same group. They were all together, and so I don't know if the one from Indiana just migrated down here and decided to stay, or if it was literally a migration but if it was banded in Indiana, it's it's a southern bird. It's not what I would call a migrating bird because it should have been banded way up north, like up in Alberta or something. I don't know. So if you know anything about this, drop down in the comments and give me your thoughts on it. I don't really know. I just know that that old bird was tough to pluck. And I also know that I am not gonna try to sink my teeth into it until I age it for at least a week, probably more. And since we got it on the first day of our hunt, I can easily age it longer than uh, a week because we're gonna hunt for a week. So anyway, that is how you go about reporting a band on a goose or a duck or anything. I got one on a dove one time. Bird banding is a big deal and they want you to report it that way they know a little bit about what's happening with these birds and they, they want to know information like that so help them out don't be afraid that you're gonna get in trouble i mean you shoot the thing in season it's legal go ahead and report it it's fun to find out where the birds are from i had no idea that one of these birds was from indiana and the other from kentucky so it's just a lot of fun to do that. And uh, so we're going to keep hunting this week and see what we can come up with. Uh, so far, we've got two days in the books. We've got uh, two geese and six ducks. So, well, one of them was a merganser. So anyway, you guys have a great day. We're going to see you on the next video.